boy, what you doing with your dirt in King Boss Man's ditch? You get your dirt out of King Boss Man's ditch. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. Get my dirt out of King Boss Man's ditch. Get my dirt out of King Boss Man's ditch. If you don't know where that's from, I don't know. I can't help you. All right, let me show you what I got going on here now. This is a volleyball court here. So this is all set up for a volleyball court and a post was here and I caught the edge of the post with the, the skid loader and I broke it right off. So since I went and made the screw up of breaking the post, I went down to Home Depot and got a new post. And I had those couple bags of concrete from doing the sawmill, from pouring the post that the sawmill sits on. I had two bags left over, so it kind of worked out. I'm going to use one of these posts for a bird feeder. And I'm going to use one of these posts to replace this one here for the volleyball net. So I use one bag of concrete here, and I'll use one bag of concrete there. I've got the hole dug about three feet deep. I'm going to put a post in there. Got a bag of concrete. And I got a little bucket here with some water in it. So I'm going to put the concrete in here, mix it up. Put the post in there, make sure it's level, and uh, be good to go.
What you think you're doing? Just getting my dirt out of Boss King's ditch, boss. And then you gonna put your dirt in my yard. You hear me? Now let's get out of there. Well, I got my dirt out of King Boss Man's ditch. Now that's done. All I gotta do is hook the fence up here and then that'll be it. If you look, you can see there's uh, all the wood way over there in the far distance. That's where I have my sawmill at over there. There's a fire pit right on the other side of that tree over there. That's where we burned everything at. We had that fire going, and actually next door, this is my brother's house. So next door over here is actually my aunt's house. So it's my aunt and uncle live here. And I know they had a pile of brush sitting over here that they've been wanting to burn for some time now. So, that pile of brush, we figured, well, we had a good fire going, and we got the grapple for the skid loader. It'd be easy to just grab it and bring it over and throw it in the fire. Snow on the ground, good time to have a good-sized fire. Makes sense. So, that's what we did. Went and got the grapple, went over and grabbed some brush and put it on the fire. So now, the yard's all cleaned up, and I made the mistake of hitting that post there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but now, all better. Got a new post in there. And you can see the volleyball nets back up. So now, come springtime, when they're ready to play volleyball again, everything's back to where it was originally. If, just to give you a, a little better view here, I went in here, grabbed a pile of brush, I backed up in here, and I went to go over there to dump that. And just between the end of this tree here, I wanted to clear this tree, and I had I was watching this tree, I wanted to be over far enough away from the tree, and I wasn't watching that, how close I was to that post. And I bumped the end of the post, and it doesn't take much for the skid loader. I snapped it right off. So. So that's all I've got for today. And I'll give you a little clip of that fire. <laughs> 